Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, this is part two of my The Vanishing of Ethan Carter walkthrough. It's not a review. Uh, last time I left, we were in space. You didn't miss much. Basically, uh, what had happened is a little piece of paper popped through, um, I guess, a slot in the spacecraft, and you read it, and uh, essentially it was just another one of Ethan's stories. So it, it dropped us back into reality here in this... Uh, I guess spacecraft looking um little fort or whatever you want to call it. So this is that story it goes in, talks about uh that experience and you can read it when you play. I'm just clicking or picking this up for game completion, I guess. I don't know if it really matters, but anyway, moving on. Oh, another thing. Uh last episode was 25 minutes long. This time, it's only going to be about 15 minutes long. 25 minutes is way too long. I couldn't even sit through the whole damn thing, so... I don't know how I could expect you to. Um, but moving along. So, we've taken care of everything back there. We're going to move forward. <clears throat> A lot of, uh, I guess, dull moments of the game traveling back and forth, so... Sorry for that. I, this isn't scripted, as in... No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. As I'm sure you can tell, uh, it's not scripted, that is. All right, let's see. And my cat is now in the way. All right. Who's going to approach these buildings? Just see if it triggers anything. It doesn't. Uh, there's nothing up there. That's the path that was paralleling this. Let's go back here. There's nothing back here, but we'll go back here. I don't want to seem like I'm rushing through the game. Uh, definitely if you play, only use this as kind of like a guide. Just, uh, it's a it's a game worth playing, and um, like I said in the first video, I've already played it once, so I, I kind of have an idea. Um, it does get pretty in-depth, so there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to forget a lot of stuff. But moving along, we're going to go back to this bridge, cross it, and... Uh, This is a long walk, and I'm running. <laughs> so yeah, essentially what we do uh, throughout this game is you get put into the setting of one of Ethan's stories. Sorry if it uh, lags. I don't I'm getting some frame rate issues today. <laughs> So you get put in the settings of Ethan's stories to, I guess, uh, figure out the chain of events. You'll see as you play the game. It's not as straightforward as a lot of games, but um, you, you definitely figure it out by the end. I'm going to go into this house. What's this? Oops, I meant to zoom in on it. I think this, uh, those names are actually about where the, the people are standing. I, I don't think that's very significant. It's just something I noticed when I played. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. Huh. I guess uh, that was dialogue between Ethan and his mother. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. Ethan just drifts to pieces. Yeah, yeah. 
See what's back here. Nothing. You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. Ethan's dad actually ends up being one of the better characters of the game. Dale, that is. Oh, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this Leafa. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. And as you can see there, I'm, I guess uh, Ed is Dale's dad, a.k.a. Ethan's grandfather. I was looking for things I could pick up and read, trigger more events. You have to help us. It's the only way. I want Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. <laughs> I thought that was a body. I wouldn't say this game is scary. Um, it's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. But uh, it can be uh, fairly eerie at times. Especially when you think these people are all trying to essentially kill a kid for whatever it is that he did. I'm going to go up to this house, see what this house has to offer. this yeah if you guys play definitely you know read through these things I'm not gonna waste the time oh opened or changed that room into whatever that is so with that being said I want to point something out uh, the second paragraph, use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment, seal the path with falsity, and uh, whatever the hell that word is, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. It took me a while to actually figure this out, but what you're doing here is you're going to look through the front door of the house we were in, which I assume is Ethan's house, and so you pass through. And now the objective is to swap this to the correct setting or to the correct room and then you progress that way and you'll know uh, definitely when you when you get through it if you get them all wrong or if you get too many wrong it'll throw you back I don't know how many you need right though I couldn't figure that out I did the whole bottom floor when I played the first time. Uh, what is this? That's it's that. That's right. Um, I think it's this one. Yep. Alright, maybe we have to do all three stories. I'm not sure. Uh, that... Yeah, I think it's this. Ah! I guess not. Oh, maybe it was. Alright, now where am I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, see, I unlocked 
This is the room Ethan found, supposedly, I think. It's pretty cool. So it looks like, well, we'll, we'll just keep going. And this is uh, essentially the story that goes along with this room. Pretty important to read. If you don't read it, uh, it just doesn't tie the story together very well, so. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No. What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop weaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. A lot of these people are just dicks. Okay, that's the. Oh, okay, yeah, see, it dropped us out of Storyland. So I'm gonna call it. And then, uh, put us back here. So this took us back to. Um. Yeah, 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 it did. It took us back to that other house. The one that we started in that had the piece of paper right there. Nothing, uh, I don't think there's any other significance to this house. Alright, so let's move on. Like I said, I, I really urge you to only use this as a guide if you get stuck. It, it truly ruins the game watching someone play through the whole thing. Maybe, you know, watch the first couple minutes of each video if you... Or thinking about buying it, but you're not sure, then I, you know, I guess I could see that, but definitely don't watch the whole video unless you don't plan on playing it, or you've already played it, and you're, you're just trying to close everything up. Alright, I lagged real bad there. I hope that doesn't come out in the video. I'm sure it will. I don't know what the deal is today. I stepped through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know why, but I, I keep actually having some frame issues, so hopefully it's not too bad in the video. All right, we're just gonna follow this path up. I'm gonna take this way. See where this goes. The only the weird thing about the game is you kind of have a sense of floating as you walk. You know, you, you know, um, a lot of the the more recent games you actually would see the screen adjust as you walked over all these things. Where uh, I've noticed you basically just float. I mean, you, you hear the footsteps, but it's little movement, I guess. Screen movement. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Uh, there's a church we'll go check out. See what's going on here. Hmm. Some tombs. All right, where's this oil lamp? I guess inside the church. All right, we'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna explore out here while I'm out here. Yeah, 
and you can't see anything. I guess you can kind of see. You might be able to see that. It's hard for me to see it, so I doubt you'll be able to see it once you're, you know, once the video is said and done. Interesting. See what's down here. So it looks like there's a crow missing. Uh, where's it at? It's down over there. <laughs> All right, so it's in a, uh, I guess what looks like a cemetery, maybe on the other side of the church. Before I, I kind of want to save the church for last, for no particular reason. Just when I play games, I like to explore sections at a time. Oh, this looks like the uh, where the crow is. So where's the Jesus? Let's find the Jesus, and then we'll find the crow. All right, so I think we had some... Oh, there it is. I walked right past it. All right, we're going to take it. So notice that we took that, so it means we have to put it back. So I'm going to go put it in that... Uh, I think we're gonna go, you know, next to that other crow. We don't know what's missing from there. So I assume pull again. It's freaky. Oh, okay, so this looks like it hurt. We're going to take it. And I bet, because that had us looking in here when we, look, yep, there it is. All right, so we put that, we put the crow. I guess we need to put the oil lamp, um, which is in here somewhere. So let's find out how to get inside this church. All right, now we gotta look for this thing. All right, can't see up there, so let's see here. Oh, there it is. All right, so we'll take this, and I think this is the last piece to that puzzle. So I'll go put it up, unless there's more that I just haven't discovered. Okay. Well, I guess there's more. All right, what am I missing? Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's something out in this garden. Is that a fire? I don't know. How do I get down there? Right here. Alright, let's figure out what this was. Looks like maybe they're torches. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. And I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Is the trail caused by inequality?
inequality or injustice. When you close your eyes, whose voice do you hear? Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Do you feel there is vanity in charity? Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? I just kept pushing forward during that. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Okay, and uh, we got a saving scene up there, so uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. That way I can continue from here and there won't be any gaps like there was last time. So thanks again for watching, and uh, definitely look for part three. This was part two, so look for part three after this, and uh, watch that too. Thanks again.